Mitsubishi Outlander 2 liter diesel. Today uh, we are going to go through how to remove the EGR and clean it. So the tools you need is brake to remove plastics like this and uh, you need number 10 socket to remove the battery and you need uh, the Allen key V8 size to open some of the bolts and for the long EGR bolts you need 30 star key uh, or hex key and Phillips screwdriver with extension extension will be needed for this uh, ratchet small, small ratchet spanner and a universal joint and lastly but not least the screwdriver and the pliers okay so first of all start with removing the the air holes out of the way so I'm going to use the brick here this one there and then lift it up so that's out of the way engine cover just just lift up from the front leave this one on the air filter can stay on now next is to remove the air pipe from the EGR exhaust intercooler I'm going to pull it with the pliers and push and with the screwdriver yeah, this clip so just pull it easy so this one here so you have to go from underneath here the G30 this one here and there is a third one for which you have to remove the uh, wire clip and then you go inside from here Okay, so once I've taken these three out, then I'm, I have already removed this one. Then I'm going to go for this one. I'll open the exhaust uh, recirculation pipe. So let's continue taking them out. Open the jubilee clip and the air pipe, other end of the air pipe. Out. The pipe is removed. Look at the pipe inside. It's full of gunk. The lower part and the upper part. Upper part with the vacuum. Lower part the electronic throttle body. The lower part and top is the GR. Okay, that pipe is going to the uh, turbo intercooler. Now, to take it out, hex T30 hex. Uh, uh, long and short different sizes of screws. So this one is from the side which is uh, on the you know the uh, dips stick side okay so i will move the number 10 bolt for me to keep it flexible okay, the lower one is held by two one in the front and one 180 degree opposite the top one is held by three one small one and the second small one down there that's the second one the shiny bit and the third one is behind there for which I will have to go from here last one out a medium size I need to remove the connection the same size medium size okay so those two are out one more behind here okay which is the uh, long one Oh, look at the length of this one. So massive. This is the uh, electronic throttle body. 
this bit. There are two only, small size. So this one is easy. Other one is difficult. For the other one, first, I would remove the recirculation pipe from here. Just remove this one first. This sensor is in the way. Okay, so I'm going to this sensor. Sensor is out of the way. You need to remove this bolt so that you have access to the screw from underneath. See now, as you connect it. Yeah, so this is the smaller size, same as this one. This vacuum pipe is quite loose, so I'm going to put some silicone on it. So it's quite clean from last time. And you clean it a little more in these edges with the brick.
cleaned. Oh god. That's not the dirtiest I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the manifold as much as I can as well. All these pipes need to be cleaned as well. This one, this pipe. Um, let's see if it makes any difference afterwards. I'm also going to sort these things in the car. Spread the tar, bug, and gunk removal, remover across the EGR cleaner on it for some time. But as you can see, it's only cleaned limited. It's not like 100% clean. So the ultimate clean would be to scrap it out. Okay, so I'm scrapping it with the screwdriver. See the amount of build up of carbon build up
I'm still time to put everything together. Right. Look at this pipe, how shiny and clean it is now. See the light in it. Okay. That's the electronic throttle body. Also clean. It's full of gunk if you remember. Yeah, so this it's got three holes and it's got uh, two long ones and one very long so this is very long one which goes uh, from behind here where the dipstick is so it goes from there yeah let's put it back so i'll start with putting some silicon gasket maker on the vacuum pipe So number one is the front one which is easy peasy then the second one in the back See how narrow this place is. Have a look from here. So you must remove the, uh, the the screw holding the pipe. Otherwise, there is no space. Okay, it's spinning right. There's see the head is right where the hole for the screw for the pipe is. Okay. Tighten it. I'm not going to use the torque wrench or etc. But I'm just going to do it with my experience, not to break it. I have broken a few before in the past on the what you call in the same similar car, not this one. Also in the uh, the, the the injectors. Snap it either. It's tight enough. Yep. Now you can put the screw because this one is secure. Now you can put the screw. Screw for the pipe goes in now. Enough. Now it's time for the long one. The long one is gonna go from the. Uh, remember, this one has got only two, one and two. The third one, the long one is the common one. So that's gonna go through the electronic throttle body, and it's gonna go right from. 
from here it's gonna go all the way up through the third hole of this one okay so let's do it You don't need the extension. This long one is uh, more likely to snap, so be careful not to over tight. I'll put the plug back in. I'll clean it a little bit with the contact cleaner. So, let it dry. Okay. Let it dry. Meanwhile, I'll just put the uh, battery in.
check for there's a trick for putting the air filter hood back in make sure the lower I'll take it out again these these teeth make sure they are these are sitting right into those gaps down there otherwise it's going to be loose from the bottom okay so make sure bottom one is well in place you can check it by plugging it out if it's, it slips out means it's not sitting properly slipping out it's not proper yep now it's just set it and the other side as well so after that you can put the clips on it's tight last bit Let's see. Give it a few meters. Listen to the sound of the pump. There's too much sound coming from the air vent and all. Hear the pump running in the background. Give a few more heaters. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at the smoke. All this gunk and dust. Oh my god. Missed it. <laughs> Should have found it. The white smoke coming is because of the cleaner I put in. Watch the smoke. Let it warm up, then I'll grab it up. Okay, time to take it for a spin and see if I can clear it more. Absorbed. They are quite clean and I have absorbed now. Okay, time to take a post.